I was working on Troy Davis uh, case. Uh, I've been to some of his hearings. Uh, I've been in his rallies. I know his family. I even spoke to him in, by phone, and I remember his words, and it makes me real sad. He was telling me that one of these days, uh, you and I gonna be together in my family house eating, eating, eating soul food, because you know he's a black man. And I said, yes, uh, keep thinking positive, don't lose your faith, but things then went out the wrong way. His case was similar to mine. Um, he had no physical evidence against him. They said testimony of, of nine witnesses, and seven of them recorded, one of them is dead, and the other one supposed to be the, the suspect in the case. So uh, it was it's a very similar uh, mine, and, and um, it's very sad that they executed. But I think the problem that Troy Davis had was it was a cop killing. So um, you, when you are uh, accused of killing a police officer, you'll be lucky if you make it to court. It's a problem with police informants. Uh, they got motives to lie. Uh, in my case, the police, inf the police informant, the snitch, he, uh, he had a home invasion case and, and it was squashed, squashed out and, and plus he got $5,000 reward. So informant say it's a, it's a problem. Uh, uh, I don't think they should uh, rely on, 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 on what they're saying. Uh, they sh if if they don't if they don't have uh, something to corroborate what he's saying, they should never use use uh, informants in in murder cases. Also, they should uh, interrogations is very, is, uh, is also becoming a problem. Uh, they should uh, in last state is doing it now. They are videotaping the interrogation to see where everything go right. Because believe it or not, they got people that have confessed to crimes they did not com commit because they scared him with the electric chair. So they tell what the police wanted to hear. And 44. I went in there when they secured the tent, and, I got, and when I got out, 51 was secured. Um, how close were you with, with some of those? Very close, very close. That's what I say the, the hardest thing for me is when they secure one, because we become like a, like I said before, he cries in my shoulder, cries in his. He uh, shared with me his most intimate thoughts. I shared mine with him. And I learned to grow up to love him. And then one day they snatch him out of there. And I know what's going to happen. They're going to kill him. can stop it. So it was the better, hardest thing for me. If I say I'm not angry, I'll, I'll not be telling the truth. I am angry. But the, my anger, I use it in a different way. I use it in a positive way. It gives me strength by thinking positive that one day this menace will be uh, uh, eliminated, it will be uh, abolished. So uh, my anger, I use it in, 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 with strength to get the job done. I'm not anger at anybody in particular. I'm not ang angry, hateful with the prosecutor who did this to me, with the lawyer who betrayed me, with the, uh, with the people that, that uh, testify against me, which only was two, one of them is in prison, the other one is dead. Uh, I'm not uh, angry at them, no have no kind of hate on, on nobody. Uh, I'm angry at the system as a whole. And I got to uh, uh, take this anger and use it in a positive way. I never met a, a rich, rich person in, 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 in their role. It's, it's, it's a law strictly for the poor for the undesirable, for the people that nobody cares. Uh, uh, the population, higher population is African Americans. Uh, Latin is growing rapidly. If a, if, a, if a white man kills a, a, a black man or a, or, a, or a Latin, the chances for him to get the death penalty is almost zero. But if a, if a Latin or, or a black man kill a white man, first thing the prosecutor is thinking, that penalty. So you can see how the, uh, play, the, the race play a, a big part. It depends who you kill. They got to get rid of the death penalty because all the death penalty is, is doing is, 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 is making it worse. Uh, they, it don't deter crime. People think that, that uh, having the death penalty, uh, 
politicians use it as a as a tool for for being tough on crime and they wrong. And when these people commit this these horrible crimes, these horrendous crimes, gruesome crimes, they're not thinking about the death penalty. They're not thinking about the electric chair. They're not thinking about getting caught. So it's common sense. Uh, I remember Ted Bundy, uh, who was one of the most infamous uh, serial killers. Uh, I remember I saw him on a Tuesday. He was a secure on a Thursday. Uh, I remember Ted Bundy telling me one time in the yard that he, one of the reasons he came to, to the state of Florida because they had the electric chair. So that tells me something. So uh, they got to get rid of, to get rid of the death penalty and then work and other things. Uh, the problem with the death penalty also it costs too much. It costs the state of Florida more than $10 million to execute the bondy. The average is $2.8 million. Uh, this is money that can be used to, uh, to, to train law enforcement officers and, and, let, and, and, and make sure they have good equipment so they can do investigations and, and, and get the right, the right one. Uh, that money can be used for crime prevention, drug, uh, drug programs for the Jones. Uh, it can be used to counsel victim filing for murder. And you know, it can be used for a lot of things to, to make a show for public safety, not the death penalty. The death penalty always doing is creating more collateral damage. Yeah, I, see, uh, I see a lot of hope that it's going to get abolished. I know it's going to get abolished. And I hope that the state of Washington be in the, in the right side of history because it's going to happen. Uh, we have win ballots already. Uh, they no longer can execute a person that commit uh, 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 homicides on the 18 years old. So that's, that's one that we win. Uh, they cannot uh, uh, sink the death penalty on, on people that's mentally ill. That's another battle that we this is signs that is going going to get abolished. Uh, the last, uh, we have now uh, about four states that, that abolished uh, not, not too long ago, uh, New York, uh, New Jersey, uh, New Mexico, where I, where I live at, uh, was abolished in 2009, and recently the state of Illinois, and it will fall like a domino change. Like a domino change, the state of Washington looks real good, and it's all about educating them. Once you educate them, tell the people, uh, 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 teach the people that, uh, that the death penalty is simply a bad government policy. It, they say it's a program, like the welfare, like social security. Uh, this one in here, it is a bad government policy. And I tell them the best way I can. I know they're killing people here every week. We're doing nothing.